Pippin on deck. Pippin on deck. Pippin on deck. Break Pippin. yourself, bitches. Break yourself, bitches. Pippin on Excuses are tools of underachievers. They build mountains to nowhere, and those who resort to them seldom amount to anything. We don't have excuses. We don't have problems. We only have solutions. We never talk about what's wrong. We talk about how to solve the problem. No matter what goes on, you never get sucked into thinking, oh, this is fucked up. This bitch did that. This nigga did that. This, that, and the third. What you do is you automatically think about how you can eliminate it and stay in a, man, a mindset of gratitude. You got to think to yourself every morning. When you go to sleep tonight, wake the first thing you're in the morning, you gotta wake up and say, I'm so thankful for my daddy. So this motherfucker's giving me this game. He's he's making me better. He's teaching me. He's gonna make, make everything all right for me. We're gonna grow together. I'm gonna make him stronger. He's gonna make me stronger. And as you keep saying that, that's gonna manifest because the universe works with the law of attraction. And the law of attraction works like the law of gravity, which works 100% of the time for 100% of the people. Everybody is, is, is subject to the law of gravity. If you go stand up that building and walk up that building, you're going to fall on your ass. Everybody is. The same with the law of attraction. Whatever you think about, whatever you focus on, the universe brings to you. So if you focus thinking about how much money you don't have, the universe don't know. The universe going to keep giving you don't have. But if you're thinking about prosperity and abundance and being rich and thinking of like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make some videos. I'm going to make some recordings for you. So you can hear my voice and I can say that I'm going to send them to you. It's like, it's almost like hypnosis and like meditation. But what you do is you listen to it and you program your mind into only believing that you are a winner. That nothing is beyond you and you deserve the rich abundance of the universe and the hospitality of wellness, uh, abundance, prosperity, riches, and everything that everybody else getting that's, that's, that's sitting on something solid. Hold on, pretty baby. You got some big titties. I love that. <laughs> You a fine young motherfucker. You know me, we're gonna have a problem with I'm, I'm gonna get jealous if you sell some of my pussy. They're gonna pay a lot of money to fuck you. I'm jealous. I don't want no any motherfucker filling on your titties and sucking, sucking your titties and fucking you. We gotta get some real money. Otherwise, no go. But I want you to understand your value. You know what I'm saying? You have value. You, you understand your value. You understand what you worth? You never know. We might stumble up on a lick. And I'm a, when I take you, if a motherfucker's money's long, we, you know, let him holler, you know? And and like I'm talking about, you got the kind of game where all he got to do is just look at you and he might bust a nut. If you talk that good shit, I'm going to teach you. Especially if you're if you a confidence woman. I'm trying to teach you to be never break character, believe in yourself, and know you sitting on a gold mine. You tell a motherfucker, you know what? You may not want none of this pussy. This pussy is really good. This might fuck you all up. I don't want to hurt you like that, so maybe I ain't going to give you none. But act like you like him. He'll be like, oh, shit. I got to have some of this pussy. You had this motherfucker writing bad checks, using his credit cards, stealing his wife's Rolex and diamond rings, trying to get you some money. And, and you're not robbing him. He's bringing it to you freely. But he, he believe in what you say out your mouth, and you say it with such conviction because you're so confident that he believe everything everything that you say. And you so pretty, and you so confident, and you so calm, and you cool, and you just ain't really worried about nothing. You're not really pressed. You just relaxed and like, like bitches with good pussy, with big old titties, that's fine, and just like, I don't know, dude. Like, you probably don't want none of this. This shit'll have you fucked up. And it's so easy. You know how many rich trick motherfuckers? Listen, the problem is, is that most, especially most rich motherfuckers out here, that's in their 50s and 60s, they tired of that bitch they been with for 45 years. They don't want that bitch no more. She don't like getting fucked in the ass. She don't suck dick no more. She just acting funny about the pussy sometimes. They want a, a bad black bitch, especially white men. White men want, powerful white men want black women to degrade them, make them feel bad. Like, you got all this money, motherfucker, but you can't afford this pussy. How that's gonna make him feel? He asked you for some pussy, you be like, no, 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 I don't just... Like, how much? No, I don't think you can. You know, he, let, ma, let him figure it out, and you, and you, and you, you, you know, you, you dangle the, the golden carrot in front, of, like you make a horse race. You, you, you put the carrot on his head, and it dangle in front of him. And he just keep running faster and faster, but the carrot is on his head. 
You understand what I'm saying? Motherfucking right. That's how you. That's how you make. That's what you make the pussy work. And if you finally gotta let this trick motherfucker hit it with a condom, he gonna bust his nut soon as he start touching that wet juicy pussy. If, if you ain't talking about long money, then what's the point, right? Like taking shorts, discount yourself. I, I'd, I'd rather give you that chump change just to make sure you got the basics covered. I, rather than discount yourself, I, I take care of the basics just to make sure you ain't discounting yourself and you ain't degrading yourself and you ain't feeling bad or, you know, that takes its toll on you if you got to just deal with a bunch of motherfuckers that's not on your terms. It's always got to be on your terms. If it's not on your terms, right. then it's going to be a headache. This nigga going to take too long and he going to be talking about, I take the condom off and he going to try to, sh you know, it's bullshit. That's a lot of work. You ain't no motherfucking social worker. You understand what I'm saying? You dealing with these trick motherfuckers with this money and all they really want is they mind fucked up. The pussy is really a byproduct of how they feel mentally. Because if you don't fuck their mind, they dick ain't going to get hard. These real bad bitches that really know how to turn a trick, these bitches, these bitches have motherfuckers coming before they get the condom on him. He busting the nut. You know when you bust a nut, it's over. That's what I'm talking about. I can look at you and tell. I can look at you and tell. Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all not square. Y'all ain't no punk ass bitches. Y'all know exactly you how know this works. I was calling you a punk bitch because I was trying to break you because you was talking shit. What the fuck around, make me fuck you up. Make me, make me get my, my crew to come out here. My bitches is jumping. The white girl jumping in this car and snatch you out this motherfucker. Where they at? Man. I'm joking. <laughs> ain't nobody fucking with you. Mm -hmm. the, the white girls ain't, they ain't looking like... The ones that get the real money, these bitches got, you know, fucking Prada bags and right. uh, um, Hermes and Balenciaga and Gucci shoes and eyeglass. They hair right. They Everything is right. How a broke motherfucker gonna come talk to you? Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about street walking. My point close. is... A bad bitch that's got her shit snatched and pulled together get the real money where I come from. Your point is what? My point is, pretty is, pretty does. The spirit is within. It don't matter I think if you, can, you, not can get more, you can get more flies with honey than you can with shit. Okay. These bitches is doing real estate and the big money motherfuckers that come in and get these 10, 15 million dollar motherfucking condo, they giving them the pussy and everything else they want. They hosting them, taking them where they want to go. He ain't gonna get no broke down bitch walking down Collins. This nigga got hundreds of millions of dollars. And mm -hmm. just trust me, I guarantee you, he ain't gonna pick no raggedy bitch up unless you wanna fuck in the car in an alley some motherfucking right. where and drop that bitch right. off. Right. I got my long it's game. Purpose. Right. You're long right. game. You're right. So I want my bitches to be squared up, ready to go, on point for the long money. You're right. We talking about real estate and talking about dealing with these kind of motherfuckers that got wives and just wanna have a girl they can just be companions with mm -hmm. and go out and have dinner at Mr. Child's or Carbone and sit and drink mm -hmm. $500 bottles of champagne and bring buy you a you gift a with, and bring you a, a gift with Don. Exactly. Uh -huh. That kind of shit. That's long game macking. That's not no selling no pussy for a couple hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever. That's bullshit. That's degrading. You ain't gonna feel good about yourself.